So guys, we are back with yet another First Descendant video and today guys, we check out the latest patch which is now live. We had about four or five hours of maintenance, but now the game is available for you to play again with a brand new patch applied to it. How's it going guys? My name is DPG and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. So let's not hang about and get straight into it. Targeted platform, Steam, Xbox Series X, S and the Xbox One, PS4 and the PS5. Okay, so straight on to content improvements. And this is UI and UX. An option has been added to turn off other players' effects, basically the projectile explosion. Wow! That's actually pretty cool because sometimes when I'm fighting these big old void bosses and I'm just seeing explosions everywhere, I can't see where that weak point is anymore, people. So this is great. Now, in order to improve the visibility, the explosion effect and the duration of the Vestigar organ has been reduced. A system message has been added to make it easier to check the down but not out status of allies. And an extra measure has been added to the party members UI. Okay, so reduce the research completion visual effect duration for materials frequently used in research. Wow, great change. I was so fed up of pressing skip. Okay, so away from keyboard AFK has been added to the player report menu. Cool, I hate joining missions of people are just standing there getting all my XP. Uh, but to be honest, it ain't that much of a problem to me. I don't mind carrying people if I know I can do the farm quite easily. Uh, but whatever. Okay, so the UI has been updated so that major rewards obtained from quests that have already been cleared are checked in that quest list. A function has been added to view acquisition information directly in the target section of the library. Okay, cool. Fixed an issue of scrolling to the top when moving from the target item of library to the corresponding item list. Added firearm types and round types to the library weapon list. Cool. Fix an issue where a player who joined the void fusion reactor could use the reconstructing device even if there was no void shard after completing the mission. I had heard a little bit about this, I'm not going to lie. When completing a void fragment mission, obtaining two types of void shard, the amount obtained has increased by approximately 1.5 times. Nice. Void fusion reactor mission tooltip has been updated to display the number of void shards. Cool. Added link to Morpheus pattern to void fusion reactor mission tooltip. Void shard attribute will now be displayed on the map directly and the number of attached items that can be registered has been updated to 1000 each for weapons, reactors and external components. Okay, so pretty cool. Okay, so we now move on to Descendants. Ooh, this is some interesting things, people. Thrill Bomb and Lightning Emission with the Ultimate Bunny High Voltage Module will now target nearby targets rather than random targets. That's a buff. That's a buff, people. Elegy of Reconstruction Serum of Eugene uh, now applies to Colossus as well. Okay, cool. Ultimate Bunny's Electric Charge, High Voltage and Bunny's Electric Condense uh, sound effects have been changed. Okay, cool. Uh, I didn't really mind the Electric Condense sound effect to be honest, but hey. Using Bunny's uh, skills to inflict electrocution on enemies has been removed from the second and third stage evolution conditions of the Bunny Evolving Skin Speedy Awakened 1. Cool, okay, so a few bunny changes there. Infiltration operation. You can now view mission results through the escape menu after completing an infiltration operation. I'm guessing that's PC. Uh, the time limit for destroying the Iron Heart has been removed in the infiltration operation fortress, heart of the fortress. The location of the supply druid in the infiltration operation fortress, quarantine zone, has been moved to the battle zone, making it easier to supply bullets. Cool. Okay, so now on to missions. The position of immunity spheres of named monsters will not change anymore as the monsters move or rotate. Okay, so that's, I weren't having problems with this after they last changed it, but hey, I'm guessing people probably still were, but that makes it a lot easier. The sequential sphere type of the named immunity of alternate hand of Nazestrus, as that say, that appears in White Knight Gulch's Eye of the Truth has been updated. Okay, so onto field. The drop quantity on hard difficulty has been increased by approximately 1.5. They have buffed drop rates, people. This is incredible. Wow, best change so far. Miscellaneous. The stack limit for consumable items has been increased from 1 million to 100 million. Jeez, 
Jesus, there ain't no people be farming. And they've also updated some icon images. Okay, so onto optimization improvements. Fix the memory leak that occurred intermittently in the windowed mode. Uh, fix the memory leak when using the frame generation. Fix the issue of temporary frame drops when opening inventory with DLSS frame generation. And fix an issue where frame limit was not restored even if additional options were changed to off when DLSS frame generation or SFR frame generation is enabled. Cool. Whatever, let's move on to bug fixes, people. Okay, so UI and UX, this is Russian, Spanish, and Portuguese, fix an issue where the material quantity text was cut off in the weapon transmission. Fix an issue where the top menu remained when scroll map, uh, top library through acquisition information, and then move into the screen with escape. Fix an issue where a black screen was briefly displayed when starting special operation. Symbol effects have been added for cold analyzer, cold breaker and core material dropped. Nice. Fix an issue where account names starting with the hashtag were not visible. Okay, so now we move on to descendants, people. Uh, fix an issue where the descendant couldn't be changed after completing the exclusive dungeon of the quest to Bunny, Abbey of Daughter, in the Bunny Quests. Fix an issue where Bunny's lightning emission was used even if there was no moving distance when rolling over a box or wall. Fix an issue where sound effects were not played intermittently when landing on the floor with Kyle's superconductivity thrusters. Fix an issue where the change in motion was repeated with Kyle's repulsion dash. Okay, so now onto modules. Fix an issue where the Archer acceleration module did not increase the speed and distance of projectiles. Fix an issue where Ajax's body enhancement module did not reflect the max shield in the current shield after moving to the map. Okay, fix an issue where the firearm attack of the shoot focus module was applied as a sum operation and not as a multiplication operation. Fix an issue where the module list scroll was reset to the top after module enhancement. Okay, so now we move on to mission. Fix an issue where monsters would not spawn if the first monster spawned upon entering the Volga strategic outpost were immediately killed. Fix an issue where the next quest could not be started under certain circumstances. Fix an issue where the sphere would tremble when it was far away during the named monster sphere gimmick. Fix an issue that prevented field change by removing the shield created during the upper hatchery mission in the White Knight Gulch hatchery. Fix an issue where monsters would spawn even without an actual battle in the White Knight Gulch's fortress outskirts. Okay cool so now we move on to field. Fix an issue where cold analyzers were intermittently required when working with the encrypted vault in a hard mode difficulty. Okay, cool. Didn't even know that was a thing. Fix an issue where falling were using a grappling hook in a certain section of the prologue caused you to spawn at the next location with the mission unfinished status. Okay, cool. So now on to avoid intercept battles. Fix an issue where the removal did not happen intermittently and the grappling hook was maintained during a battle and then guys we have miscellaneous fix an issue where items were not collected when purchasing multiple items of the same product and there we have it guys this is the latest patch to be applied to the first this sentence some great great changes here i'm not gonna lie the increased drop rates to me I mean, they definitely, that definitely tickles my fancy for sure. Can't wait to get in, guys, and try the game out, but pretty bad ass. But there we have it for another patch update. Guys, let me know your thoughts on it down below. If you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps me out. If you like what you see and want to see more of the first ascendant, be sure to subscribe, and hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.